Hello there. This is the Dell Embedded Box PC 5000 that's been designed to get you to a Core i class processor for rugged environments. With compute continuing to get faster at the edge, many embedded boxes are now being targeted to handle some light server like tasks at the edge. What I'm going to be doing here is quickly demonstrating the embedded box PC5000's ability to run ESXi hypervisor, which is uh, commonly seen in server environments running guest OSs. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that it can run ESXi natively on the box. And I'm going to target ESXi 6.0. And then the guest OS that I'll be um, demonstrating is Windows Server 2012 as a guest OS. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button here on the embedded box PC 5000. All right, so it's booted up. We could see we have an IP address there that we can we can target for um, communicating over from our client. And we can also see the identifier up at the top, VMware ESXi 6.0.0. We could see Dell Inc. Embedded Box PC 5000, along with the respective processor and the memory on board. So now what we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead and head over to our uh, remote box um, to go ahead and, and demonstrate that um, we uh, can launch a virtual machine on this unit, and that virtual machine will be Windows Server 2012. So now we're at our um, remote machine, um, and we'll go ahead and launch the VMware vSphere client. And so when we launch the client, we'll see um, our options to be able to log on. And so as we recall from our embedded box PC5000, the IP address that we can communicate with or through is uh, 192.168.0.111. So we'll go ahead and enter a username. For this case, we'll just use root and our password. Go ahead and ignore this. And as we can see, we're in. Um, so if we navigate over here to the various virtual machines that we have available, we could see that we have a Windows Server 2012, which is one that I previously created. So we can go ahead and right click on that, open console. And then we can go ahead and hit the play button on this to start our virtual machine. There we go. Go ahead and enter our password here. And as we can see, it's booting up okay. Now, if we just want to double check, we can go ahead and navigate over to Control Panel. Head over to System. And just double check that it matches some of the hardware features we'd come to expect. So Core i5, 6440EQ, CPU. Um, which is consistent with what is on the um, embedded box PC 5000. Thanks.